Hello, it's Neil Ball, your online marketing coach from www.workwithneilball.com. I'm going to demonstrate how to create an RSS feed for a self-hosted WordPress blog. I'm also going to briefly talk about what an RSS feed is and the power of RSS feeds and what you can use RSS feeds for. At the end of this video on self-hosted WordPress blog RSS feeds, I have some information about a great online business opportunity that you can run from home either part-time or full-time. Thank you for giving this video a thumbs up and commenting on it and sharing it on Facebook and tweeting it on Twitter. Before I get started on demonstrating how to create a self-hosted WordPress blog RSS feed, I'm going to explain what an RSS feed is and how they can be used. RSS was originally an acronym for Rich Site Summary although most people give the name really simple syndication. RSS feeds are produced using standard web feed formats to publish blog entries, news headlines, video and audio. The feed formats are mainly prefixed with either RSS or Atom. So for example, RSS 2.0. The standard format for RSS content in the feed is XML, which ensures compatibility. By using RSS feeds, it also allows publishers to syndicate blog entries, news headlines, video and audio automatically. When you subscribe to a website's RSS feed, you then don't need to check for updates because you have a live feed that shows you the latest info in a reader, such as Microsoft Outlook, for example, on your PC. As well as reading RSS feeds on your computer, you can also use them to add content to a website or a web 2.0 site such as Hubpages, Squidoo and WordPress.com. RSS feeds can be combined using an RSS aggregator, which allows you to have a number of different RSS feeds that you choose to combine into one feed so that you get updates as they happen from all of the websites that you're interested in at the same time. I'm now going to show you how an RSS feed can be used to feed content onto a website. I'm currently on my website, which is www.workwithneilball.com. If you go onto there and you scroll down the right hand side of the website, then what you'll see underneath recent posts is Neil D. Ball Twitter feed. Now, this is actually an RSS feed of my tweets on Twitter. It's actually quite complicated to create that. And if you want to do that, then I have produced a separate video that explains how to do it. But the concept of this is this content could be anything from any website. So if you wanted to put CNN News on there or BBC News, or you wanted to put feed from, from anywhere, your YouTube channel, for example, you could also feed that onto there. And every time you put content on there or contents updated, it automat automatically updates on your website. So here, for example, it's showing about the latest, I think I've got something like the latest 10 or 20 tweets that are, are showing on there. And I've got this set up so it rotates on the sidebar there. And the great thing about that is that it keeps the, pre the content on the page so that it looks like it's always changing. But the other thing about it is if someone's actually on the website and they see one of these things come up at the side, they could actually click on there and end up going somewhere else onto another site of yours or on the same site and continue to look at your content, which obviously increases your engagement with that customer or that view, that user of your website, so that, which is obviously a good thing. So, um, so that, that's really how you use it. But really, you, can, you could also do the same thing if, if you were using a web 2.0 site, for example. You could actually use an RSS feed and send content onto one of those. So if you went onto hub pages, for example, you might decide that you want to put your Twitter feed onto your hub pages page, which you can do by using RSS feeds. So they're incredibly powerful because they allow you to syndicate content all over the place very easily. So when you update one lot of content, it ends up being syndicated to all of the places at the same time and also to your own desktop if you want to. And, and at the same time, and the other thing, obviously, as I explained before, is that you can take content from anywhere and aggregate it all together, which means combine it together into one feed 
and either put it on your website or put it onto your computer so you get all the news and the information that you want all coming together. So I'll now demonstrate how to create the RSS feed. To create an RSS feed for a WordPress blog, it's really quite a straightforward thing. What you need to do is, if you call up the domain that your WordPress blog is on, and on the address bar in your browser, if you, put, if you put at the end of it, forward slash feed, like that, I'll type, and I'm just going to copy that. I'll see why in a second. And then you press enter. That will bring up your RSS feed. Now, this is the RSS feed, as you'll see it if you're using Google Chrome. categories but it seems to have I take it it's looking at the frequency of words on the page or something to get these categories or maybe the tags I'm not quite sure where they're coming from but it's created these categories which I suppose is quite nice because you can actually select you can select content based on the words that are frequently the most common on there and so that's that's what the Internet Explorer version looks like which obviously is very readable the only problem with it is you've got to scroll a lot to find what you want if you can't see it in the categories at the side and you've got something partway down the page that you want to read from there. And the best option, I think, is Mozilla Firefox, which if I actually put that on there properly, which I'll show you now. this is a great way of looking at the content and just getting a summary of each post which you can see on the screen now so you're seeing the actual link and then underneath you've got a brief summary of what the post actually contains so it makes it very readable it makes it makes it very easy to find what you want and once you want what you once you find what you want then all you're going to do is click the link and it takes you to the page where the post was so for me that's the best format you may feel that you prefer one of the others my least favorite is google chrome i hope that you found the information on creating a wordpress rss feed useful i have a great online money making opportunity that allows you to make money from a blog working from home this home business is something that you can do without quitting your day job and it's something that you can do full time or part time Many people have been able to quit the day job with this opportunity. For some free information on this great opportunity and more training from me, go to www.workwithneilball.com forward slash take action. And when you get there, enter your email address to get the free info. Please, if you've got some value from this video, then give it a thumbs up, add a comment, share it on Facebook and tweet it on Twitter. Again, go to www.workwithneilball.com forward slash take action and enter your email address for details of the online home business opportunity. And until next time, goodbye. <laughs>